Today I will be using my big 12 inch Dobsonian to see how close I can get to the moon landings. You now sometimes I put nice pictures like these ones of the Copernicus crater on my social networks and my friends, my family ask me, hey that's a great picture, so did you capture the flag? I'm like no, the flag is too small, <laughs> my telescope it cannot capture such a small feature and they are like, ah so we don't know if it's really there, I'm like wait a second. What do you mean if it's really there? <laughs> Wait a second. To bankrupt the Soviet Union. You don't believe we went to the moon? I'm like, bro, not only have we been to the moon, we've driven a freaking car on the moon, yeah? <laughs> oh, so anyway, this got me thinking, how close I can actually get with my telescope to the moon landings. So I did some research and I found out that Apollo 15 we actually stand a chance to capture the mission area that the guys landed on, drove on and put it through my telescope, right from my backyard. You don't believe me? Well, let's have a look. See, the moon and me, we go way back. Moon, it's always been one of my favorite things to discuss. When I was small, my grandfather used to tell me there are seas, oceans on the moon. For some reason, my parents also believed that. <laughs> and another friend of my grandpa, he couldn't even believe me that the moon is actually orbiting around the Earth as I was, t <laughs> as I was telling it uh, to him as a kid. Later on, I went to win my astronomy Olympiad in Macedonia, exactly based on a study of the moon. Captured the moon on film, like real film, you know, the one that you have to do chemical processing <laughs> and also did this really, really nice animation in 1998. It was a pretty big deal. 3D Studio 4.0 disk operating system. Maybe you have heard about it. Good old times. But now it's 2025. Technology has went far beyond whatever we could imagine back then. I have a huge telescope and it's time to test it to the limit. Now, of course, one of the first things I did when I bought my telescope in 2022, an 18-inch Dobsonian, was to try to capture the moon landings. With a cheap camera from AliExpress, full HD, but yeah, pretty cheap, I was able to get relatively close, but if I zoom in, yeah, can't see any details at all. So this is not going to cut it for what I want to accomplish today. So what exactly do I want to accomplish? Let's take a step back and see what's available online. These are taken from satellites in specific Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. It's a small satellite put exactly for that. As the name says it is itself, it's orbiting around the moon, just 50 kilometers above the surface of the moon. And it has something like an 8 inch camera aboard. So really sharp, really nice, and you're able to capture a lot of stuff. You can bruise the whole of the moon's surface in pretty nice detail using Google Moon. So let's zoom in and see where is Apollo 15 and what we will be looking for to capture with my own telescope. And here is an explanation of the main mission area, what is all the stuff that they left behind and it still can be captured today by many satellites including the Chinese. The Apollo 15 landing is nice and easy to find because it's right next to a feature called Rima Hadley. It's a one big snake like canyon. Here you can actually see a nice 3D animation based on data we have captured of this nice Rima Hadley region. It is believed to have been carved by lava and that's why it has been chosen by the astronauts as a mission target so that we can bring some stuff which has been deep inside the moon. And yes, it is true, we really did bring and drove a car over there. And by we, I mean our astronauts, <laughs> not me and you. <laughs> We're never going to see the moon. <laughs> not that close, I hope not. It's, uh, I hear the weather is horrible there, yeah? <laughs> Don't go there. And then if we do a little bit more research, this is what the actual mission map looks like. It covers an area of about 27 kilometers. What this means is that in theory, with my telescope, I should be able 
to capture it in 30 by 30 pixels because a telescope it can theoretically capture all the way up to 700 meter features on the moon as one pixel but give or take some sync and practical stuff let's call it one pixel per, per kilometer so i think i stand a pretty good chance of capturing this area exactly as it is here but first, let's take a step back and see what you can actually see on the moon with different optical instruments. First, we have my binoculars, 40 millimeters of aperture. Yeah, uh, you zoom in, not good enough. This is not going to cut it. Then we move to a spotting scope. I sold this one. It was not that useful for astronomy. Again, the detail is not going to cut it. I also owned the Heritage 130P from Skywatcher for a time. I tried to capture exactly this uh, area. It is getting quite better, but still not good. And I also had some trouble with the capturing uh, process. So, uh, not happy, not good enough. Now we go to the Skywatcher 200P, 200 millimeters of aperture, basically the same aperture as the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, only the orbiter is 50 kilometers. And we are 384,000 kilometers from the moon. Give or take, it changes all the time. I have a look at one of the, my best moonshots that I ever did with this telescope with a full HD camera. Granted, not the most expensive camera, but also with processing. Zooming in, I cannot see the Rima hardly. A little bit the crater around it, but no, I cannot see it. Okay, this was a day photo. Maybe if we try one of my night photos of the entire moon, this time not much processing. Zooming in, nothing again. Meantime, I upgraded to a 4K camera and took a whole big picture of the moon, 64 megapixel of the moon, but it was single shots, not really processing. Zooming in, again, I cannot see it clearly. I'm pretty sure that with an 8-inch Dobsonian you can have a good shot of Rima Hadley, but without actually targeting it, just shooting random photos of the moon i was not able to clearly image it so before i could try i sold the telescope <laughs> i moved up to a better telescope to a 12 inch telescope and now things are getting really really serious first a wide shot on the same night that i took the copernicus crater picture i'm really happy about this shot it was a nice sink nice collimation nice everything it turned out really sharp but i was not really targeting the rima hadley I went in and found it after, and it was not really barreled as much as it could be. Now here, unmistakably, you can see the Rima Hadley really clear. But when I do zoom in, I'm not entirely able to match the mission map with what is over there. So I think I will need one single try. This time, I'm going all in, all out. <laughs> going outside of the city for extremely good seeing picking good night of good seeing and most importantly i'm targeting especially the rima hadley with maximum barreling for optimal sampling rate and we'll see where we land i mean for the moon it's not that big of a deal i could have done it in front of my apartment but the seeing outside of the city there are only planes underneath the moon should be a bit, a bit better also tonight the seeing should be very very nice so once we are hoping to get as much detail as possible on the moon it always helps when the seeing is excellent let's get down to it let's now try with the big 12 inch and see how we do okay right now at around 300 magnification maybe actually 500 it is there I can see it every now and then it's showing itself but after processing we should be able to get it at the maximum sampling rate and the maximum magnification of this telescope okay going home I think I got what I needed the sink was very very nice so after processing I think we are going to see something not sure if it's going to be better than my last capture, but let's see. Turn right. Once we are back, we take the actual video that we shot through the telescope, we stabilize it through PIP, 
then we take it inside auto stacker stack damage sharpen with registax and we have a really nice sharp image which is getting at the maximum potential of this telescope and when i zoom in yes it's a match it's a win in my book i'm really really happy with this result i mean you can clearly see here it fits and so the mission map is there just as expected the captured area is around 30 by 30 pixels nothing more nothing less it's just nice when science seems to be working out right <laughs> it's almost as if all you had to do is understand some science and you would have no issues checking out that we really did go to the moon i'm calling this one a mission accomplished the shuttle came later we didn't go with the shuttle to the moon go and watch interstellar best movie ever highly highly recommended how'd it go i got you suspended what my name is Evel Mechkarov and I approve of this message.